Kuka, the last universal common ancestor. The Earth is 4.5 billion years old. By about 4.4 billion years, the moon forming impact turned the Earth into a ball of boiling lava. Magma oceans with temperatures over 2,000 degrees Kelvin forced all water into a gas phase and converted all carbon into atmospheric carbon dioxide. By 4.2 to 4.3 billion years ago, the Earth had cooled sufficiently enough for liquid water. Only later, hydrothermal convection currents started separating water towards the primordial crust and mantle. The first signs of life appear as red hematite spheroids in rocks about 4 billion years of age. All living creatures are linked to a single-celled organism, the very root is a complex branching tree of life. If we could play the movie of life backward, we would find this little fellow at the very beginning. Now we have the best picture yet of what that ancient ancestor was like and where it lived. Thanks to a study that identified 355 genes that it probably possessed. Luca emerged around 3.8 billion years ago and gave rise to two kinds of simple cells, bacteria and archaea. By looking for genes common to almost all cells living today, previous studies have identified about a hundred genes, almost certainly present in Luca. Luca did not use oxygen, obtained energy from hydrogen, converted carbon dioxide and nitrogen into essential organic compounds and loved extreme heat. Luca originated in an environment much like the black smoker hydrothermal vents at the bottom of the ocean. It is controversial whether Luca had DNA or not. Several DNA binding proteins trace to Luca so it would appear that it possessed DNA. It is unresolved whether Luca could actually replicate DNA. There are many competing ideas of how life first arose, but the hydrothermal vent theory was a leading contender even before the new findings because it provides a detailed scenario that explains many of life's key features. So how did life evolve into such a wide range of shapes and forms? DNA has four bases, adenine, A, cytosine, C, guanine, G, and thymine, T. A code of 150 base pairs in DNA is capable of creating more combinations than there are atoms in the known universe. Consider that the human genome contains approximately 3 billion of these pairs.